Morgantown, West Virginia, home to one of the top party schools in the entire nation, West Virginia University. With Morgantown having a population of only 30,000, some may wonder what makes WVU one of the top party schools. Well, for starters, having a tailgate that shuts down an entire hospital parking lot for thousands of people to get absolutely shit-faced at 11 a.m. in the morning, and with a combination of excellent nightlife and bar community, this provides numerous opportunities for students to get involved, get after it, and black the fuck out. So, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Buzzing Across America, West Virginia University Edition. Mountaineers, let's roll. Alright guys, it is Wednesday, middle of the week. We got a rager tonight, Wine Wednesday. Uh, we're in front of the, what's the stadium called? Malanguska, West Virginia. Hail West the, Virginia, baby. Here where the Mountaineers play. So we're gonna be here Saturday. We got JP Hadley, the long snapper. Yeah, yeah, check this out. Long, it's me, long snapper. I meet up with him, he's giving us a tour of the facilities. This is gonna be good, this stadium looks sick, by the way. Like. Saturday, you fired up? Absolutely, pleasure to have you guys. I appreciate this guy for the tour. Unbelievable facilities, unbelievable. Let's get a dub this week. I'm hammering, hammering this week. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely. All right, boys, Wednesday wine night. You guys know the fucking deal. We just hit 100K, so we got nine bottles of champagne. We're gonna pop. Happy dads. We're gonna head in there now. We got a fucking bunch of boys right And it's gonna get late real quick. Boys, Lambda Frat Tour, check this out. Fire, I don't know who did this, that looks awesome. The guys at Lambda, great guys, mullet, phenomenal hairs, 
Well, you're gonna give us a little tour of the place. Let's go check it out. Good. What's going on? How we doing? Good. How are you? I'm Nick. I'm social chair here. This is Jake. He's our recruitment chair. Welcome That's to Lambda Chi Alpha. Come check out the palace, boys. Let's go. Oh, okay. This is, uh, is our foyer. This is where we'll have like formal meetings, stuff like that. Uh, that's Steven Swank, our old alumni advisor. He passed away, so we got a nice portrait of him right there. It's our alumni room. It's currently locked right now, but just to keep all the boys out of there, you know. Here, this is our living room. Got a pool table, furnished, seven-inch TV in here. Anyway, this is our chapter room. Uh, we'll hold a full brotherhood meetings in here. Also works as a dining room. Guys will come down here, eat, hang out. So this is one of four different kinds of rooms in the house. This is a Jack and Joe setup. In here, this is Ricky's room. To the Rick. What's going on? So he has this room all to himself. Uh, he shares a bathroom with Tajay, who has the exact same room. This is our side porch. This is where we like to do darty, even our like other outdoor parties. Tonight, this is where we're throwing down. About to have the DJ booth set up over there. Shit's gonna be a fucking movie tonight. Change your show, what's up? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Holy. Uh, so Holy. 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 Dude, this is way better than like parks, you know? Like, uh, right now we're heading all the way uh, to the downstairs area where we have uh, our social space, where we hold most of our social events. Um, it doesn't look too nice right now because uh, the sun's coming in, but these lasers and lights, they go crazy. We got, uh, we got an 18 car parking garage on the house. Uh, this is our homecoming float that we're making right now. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, so that was the palace. Uh, if you're coming to West Virginia, you're interested in rushing, you can check us out on Instagram at lambda Thanks for coming right. out. Thanks, Thanks for coming out. Coming to the palace, Thanks for having us, guys. Yes, there, I'm excited to keep this weekend going, baby. Let's go. So, boys, Friday happy hour. We're showing up to the best happy hour spot in West Virginia. Fat Daddies, they call it Fats. It's going to be a good Let's time. Let's pub golf inside. We're going to do pub golf. Down. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Ah, oh, fuck. Stay so fresh, so clean, think they like me, like me. I wear more supreme than a high bitch. Alright, boys, we're gonna get the night going. It's live tonight. It's gonna be four hours of firing. We're gonna go pub golf, mini pub golf. One beer, two beer, so first two holes right here. Hold on. Playing hockey. Niggas think I'm weird and they don't really like me. Cause I can fuck your bitch and fuck your mom and I Let's Your girls will fight but your mom is a dime piece And your auntie, her name is Miss Connie I got one Glock, his name Clyde, the other one ain't Bonnie These bitches, they think they dandy, but they be just lying That little bitch can't throw it back, I swear that hoe be trying When I fuck her from the front, it sound like that bitch dying VVS, I need a vest, and need me act my diamond I swear these niggas talk shit, but they really be hiding Had that boy bitch on my dick, that hoe, she was just so clean, think they like me, like me. I wear more supreme than a high bitch, high bitch. Only blue, no green, don't excite me. I can make a hoe out your wife. Jeremy's got up on my toes, act like Jackie. Made her get down on the bottom and she tied me. Pull up extra icy, I'm not playing hockey. Niggas think I'm weird. We're going two more rounds. Not it. Down that beer. Down that fucking beer. Nigga, no, I ain't chain up. Who's from six, baby? Yeah. That's a wrap. Let's go.
beautiful day in Morgantown, West Virginia. My bets for the day. We got Texas Tech coming to visit West Virginia. I'm going all gas, no brakes today. West Virginia, I am hammering the over. It's going to be a fucking bloodbath. There will not, I repeat, there is not going to be a scoreless quarter. So I got $200 down on that. I only win 60 if I hit it. Got first touch, first score of the game is going to be a touchdown. I got money all over the place here. I'm excited about my bets. Make sure you use betonline.ag for all your sports betting needs. Bet online called me up and was like, yo, we got a parlay, automatic parlay, no miss parlay, easy hit parlay. Moneyline West Virginia paired with the over, 55 points, easy money. We got high flying offenses on both sides of the field today. $100 down on that parlay. That's going to put me back in the lead. <laughs> Thanks for the joke. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know really where I'm going right now, but uh, we're going somewhere, right? Battle mine. Boys, big day. You know, I hammered the over today. I got the over for the game, and I got the over for the first half. Very quiet day, though. Just those two bets. And then I got also the uh, West Virginia on the spread. We're in the hometown, West Virginia, Morgantown. Got to make sure we're always rooting, rooting for the home team here. Gonna spend that money at the bar tonight. Let's go. I got next up. I got a lot of bets here. I got a lot of prop bets. I did the first one parlay. I did the under. Though, like going against them, I did the under. The under. I did my I did my research. I saw the predictions. I feel confident in it, as well as uh, the spread for the parlay. I put fifty dollars on that. Then I did first team to score Texas Tech, just because I like to. That's what I want the most money betting against the uh, hometown. What the fuck? Will there be a scoreless quarter? Yes. Another ten bucks. First to score, I said over six minutes. And my last bet, over under 54 and a half yards, I said under. Brought to you by betonline.ag, baby. Let's go. Yeah, we just away. The ice in this pattern, my did a 180, I went up the wrong way. Look at the bells and the twinkling, and glisten and shine, you gon' need you some sunblock. Thousands of grams of grams and certified stones that came on a time clock. All of my woe, coyotes be sticking together, we coming like shot toss. West Virginia go hard, how hard is West Virginia go? Hey, we go hard, baby. West, we snort lines and bang dimes over here, alright? A rich man lives by the castle, poor man lives by the sea. A whiskey glass and a fat old ass is home fleet home to me. Now that's a fucking speech. Now that is chest one more time. Like, come on, what the fuck, bro? He's fucking branded. Come on, dude. Yo, he's branded, he's branded. Being someone's ass with my shirt off, they knew who the fuck's coming at him, you know what I mean? VR. To consider yourself like brothers. Yeah. All right, now newfound brothers. What would you do for your brother? All right, here's a scenario. This guy, unfortunately, might be seeing his last days. All right, and there's only one way to keep him alive. You gotta suck his cock. Are you doing it? Yes or no? No, it's not going up on any social right, platform. Look, look, look. This is just for your boy. I, so I have like like a 100% answer. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. You have a brother? Like a real brother? Yeah, for you. Would you do it for them? Do I get any money or anything out of it? Yeah, you get your brother's fucking life alive still. Fuck no. What? Hey, hey what's hey. up, dude? Hey, man, go Mountaineers. Yeah. Hey, buddy, what's up? Come here real quick. Hey, uh, you suck dick, bud. Hey, oh, there's Pabby right here. Watch this shit. Hey, I got a question for you. Are you a uh, ass or tits guy? Am I a what? An ass or tits guy. <laughs> what kind of question is that? It's all the above, right? Snoop Dogg! What question every guy wants to know. Does size matter? Relatively. Kind of. Relatively. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. No comment. <laughs> so that's your brother, right? Yeah. Alright. If he had 30 minutes to live and you had to suck his dick and get him off to keep him alive, would you do it? Nice. I need you to go get those girls in one. Hey, ma'am! The question. Question. Most important question of all time. Does size matter? Always. Always? Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. Always. You heard it here first. Like my father in law. Your father in law. Alright. So you do anything for him, right? Sure. If your father in law had 10 minutes to live, right? Uh oh. And the only thing that could save him was you sucking his dick. Would you suck his dick? He's dying. He's, not, he's a dead man. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's dead. Ass or tits? Ben did ever play the back now. 
Heard it here first. Oh shit. Alright. Ass or tits? Fat ass. Fat ass? That's what I like to hear. That's it? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Both. Both? Yeah. I mean, look, look, look. Ain't that right? Certified MILF status right there. Guys, end of, the end of the four day bender. I'm not okay. I don't want to look at alcohol for the next three days. You know, overall, I like the city. There's good views around here. The roads are a bit fucked up. Too many know. hills, dude. A lot of hostility though in this town. Yeah, Terri we'll very territorial. We'll, we'll get into that. Yeah. Let's start with athletics. I'm a 7 1. I gave 7 2. I'm going 7 7. Man. And I gave a 7 3. First of all, uh, JP. Um, long snapper beauty gave us an awesome tour of the facilities. It was just honestly the game like this could have been way better But I felt like this was like a, just an atmosphere of like not much energy again I think the best chant was when Chanchi said we should put Garrett in our boy yeah. Garrett. We Jeezy. want Garrett that was, that was the only chant like I was hearing like it was empty before after Still, is it the reason why the game doesn't bump as hard is because everyone is too fucking blocked out at the And you gotta be, the that's so something why. you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta take, you gotta hang, you know? The balance, it was definitely the best tailgate yeah. so far. But to get into the high sevens and early eights, you gotta have both. Greek life. Started with a 7-4. Se a 7-6 on the board for Greek life. 7.9 for Greek life. 7-1 for Greek life on my end. Um, I think for Greek, I mean, personally for me, this was my lowest Greek life yet. I love the boys that we, we hung out with. I think there's too much hostility. There's too much, like, anger towards each other. So basically, there's beef between all the frats that are here. Every and real beef. no, like, joint parties, really. Nothing. There's, like, they get into fights every weekend, every day, yeah. potentially. I gave them a 7.9 because they did go hard at, like, the party we went to yeah. on Wednesday. The tailgate, like, they throw, they own this whole fucking lot here, yeah, all the, the frats, and they go hard. The houses are not that great it's all on like a hill not a great frat row people have the potential yes the environment doesn't my number for the bar scene is six yeah, eight point four bar life here I, I got seven five for the bar scene here. damn i went pretty low six seven thursday we went out yeah no one empty bars were empty friday some shit go i went down not gonna say it but Fair. put my rating a little down there's a lot of variety so that's yes. why like my score is in the sevens but the atmosphere there at most places is not the best. Saturday, everywhere was bumping. That's yeah. why I gave it like such a high score. There was like, there's probably five or six bars there that had lines like far out the door. Abnormally long. That's happy hour. I had a lot of fun. They have like games in there. Final rating. You got it? Final oh. rating. All right, let's go. 7-1. Seven, 7-6. Seven, 7-8. I got a 6'9, <laughs> so I nice. think this is just a good number for you. 7'4! 7'4! 7'4! Average score! Whoa! Average. Just slightly, slightly above, above average. average. That is, uh. It's so far the worst rating So far the worst yeah. rating we've had. And, uh. We should probably get the fuck out of yeah, this town. We gotta yeah. get the fuck out of here. That's it. Next stop. We're going to UNC, baby. We got six hours. Breaks! 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 Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, baby. We're going to UNC. Let's go! One more thing. Make sure you got a good air fryer. There's nothing you can't do without a good yo, air fryer. Yo. Snoop Dogg! You know what happened with the decoy?